From Viking halls to the cities of the future, Terrain Buffs will love our foreground hub. Watch gaming tables of all genres come to life at beastsofwar.com. In a world controlled by massive corporations, a steady aim and split-second decisions are needed for your Megacon to complete its goals. Begin your missions at the Mercs Hub on beastsofwar.com. So, hi guys, myself and Carmen are back for more Robotech. Uh, right, what have we got today? Because uh, I'm really getting excited right. about this now. So, uh, you've seen the uh, Zentradi um, expansion yep. boxes. So this one is uh, the expansion box for the UEDF. Mm -hmm. um, in this case, it happens to be um, the uh, one for the uh, Spartan and for the Phalanx. Okay, well, let's have a, a look at these painted guys on camera. These are really cool. So, I, is it four options we have in the box or two options? Uh, it's two options. There's two, two different units in there. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So these are your your big stompy mechs who are just going to blow the crap out of everything. I yeah, assume? one is um, the uh, the phalanx is an artillery uh, support unit. Mm -hmm. um, so it's basically a big missile unit. Yeah. Um, and the other one is a uh, supposed to be like an all around um, infantry mm -hmm. uh, combat mech. Cool. So it has some missiles. It has some uh, gun clusters. Mm -hmm. It it has um, big steel fists that can pound the crap out of things. Oh. It can carry the GU eleven gun pod from a Valkyrie. Mm -hmm. um, so it has a ton of different options. So it's, it's a very versatile ground unit. Yeah. All right. Well, let, let's get straight into the spruce. So we've got the the legs here. I assume this is two halves of the legs and the upper thighs. Yeah. Yeah. This is the Spartan. Mm -hmm. So that so yeah. So these are the legs. Uh -huh. As you can tell, the big stompy feet. Mm -hmm. um, and then. Yeah. This here and here and all these pieces here yeah. form the torso pieces. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it seems like a really clever design and, for a lot of these. So across then, the top. And then these here are the mm -hmm. pelvis. Mm -hmm. So the two pieces that, that you have to glue back to back to form yeah, the, so these, the... These go together. Yeah, if, so if you look at the back, all these are all formed from two pieces that are glued together yeah. and then put together. Yeah, it's it's a very clever design to actually have on the sprue. To keep all the detail. It's so that... So, because if you look, I don't know how close that camera oh, can that, reveal. Oh, that camera's pretty damn close right there. Okay, so you can reveal it has all like the little inset, um, you know, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, you uh, have patterns little, here and that. Little, yeah, little in cut pieces that yeah. the sculptor has put in just to add that little bit of extra yeah, flavor like to it. Yeah, all the all the uh, armor armor detail here on the legs and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, again, it, they they have d the same kind of detail level that uh, the drop zone stuff has. Yeah. And then up around here, we have, uh, uh, what are these, ammo feeds? No, these are the arms. Oh. These are the arms, these are the hands. Mm -hmm. um, this is a big mace, that it's an optional mace that can carry into combat. It's a big big club. Yeah, th th there's nothing wrong with having a big stick yeah. to beat your enemies with. Yeah. And then on the top, ver top part of it, here's that G11 gun pod it can carry. Ah, I see, so you've actually got all the options in the box. All the options are there. Now that I, that's always a bonus, is when you can do everything you want with it. So yeah, e everything. Every option that, that it can make in the game is on the sprue. Now that is always a bonus. I assume this arm here then is probably going to be what's carrying the gun? Uh, no, that, uh, yeah, actually that is, yeah. Yeah, and then that's I the assume this is just another little gun pod at the end. No, that's, the, the, that's the, um, the head bit. If you oh. look on the picture, it, it has um, a piece on the top uh, with two anti-aircraft yeah. anti lasers ah, that see. form its head. I see. See, I'm, I'm not used to working at this this scale of many. I'm used to 28 mil god scale. Yeah, these I, are... I, I say god scale, but I'm sure everybody will start arguing in the comments about that now as to what god scale is. Yeah, these are. I mean, they're you know they're you know yeah. but, but you tall when you're done. Yeah, they're again very much um, of that you know ten you know six to ten millimeter type yeah. type yeah. scale. I think they're I think they're technically supposed to be six millimeter, mm. but we use them with ten millimeter terrain all the time because yeah. it looks a lot better when it does. Yeah, well, I mean, like, it's, you can have that, that 10 or 6 mil scale, but whenever you're doing a big stompy robot, you suddenly got these guys rocking around cities and stuff, looking huge because yeah. of the terrain matches. Because if, if, if I tried to do these at 28 mil, I'm sure I'd probably stand a bit yay tall off the table. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, be, it would be giant, huge giant and you wouldn't be able to work with it. So the scale is perfect for this type of warfare. Yeah. So the other one is this sprue, which is a bigger sprue because we have... It's tons a, and tons of rocket arms. Yeah. So I assume this is all two-part rocket arms. Yeah. So, so uh, here, again, here. there's two. There's two. You know, the, it's kind of a mirrored sprue. So there's yeah. one on each side. Yeah. Um, and what it is on this one is there's two options mm -hmm. for the um, for its arms. 
So this is one set. Mm -hmm. It's like standard uh, artillery missile arms. Uh -huh. And this is a special Scorpion launcher that you can put as an upgrade. Ah. So it replaces the normal arms. So you either uh, put those arms on or you put these arms on. Okay. And then I assume this, this is, is the, the front of our missile pod. Yeah, this, that's the front of these things. Yeah. And then I assume that you said this is a commander's piece before. Yep, so it's I'll the same. It's a commander's piece again. Same again. Yep. Uh, what are these? Those are the missiles that go into these special. Ah, I see. So the, these little pods here. Yeah, they take these. If you flip it the other way, you can see there's an indent where they sit. Ah, yes, I see they it. Sit I in see that indent. it. Yeah, but it's 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 all very much plug and play. You're not going to misalign what no. you're building. No, they've it, all got these little. Good. You know, all these little pugs, plugs and holes, so you can't yeah, really. Yeah, so you, Mind you, though, when you put them on to the body, uh -huh. um, all the robots uh, have, you know, a lot of, you know, Close movement. Belly. So you're not, you're not, nice. like, you're not this. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not the old classic, he's knife and fork pose, I'm a mini. No. no, no, they've all got a fair amount. I mean, even, I mean, these guys, literally, they can only do this because they're giant, you know, they're big drums. Aye, aye. But, I mean, you can put them with the, uh, with the missile pod doors, open or closed, or... Yeah, is that the, these with the yeah. M on them? Yeah, those are the, the missile pod doors. Yeah, and then I think, I'm going to take gases here. I assume this is a waste. Yep, that's a waste. Uh, we've then got one of the heads, I yep. think, uh, yep. if I get it onto camera, sorry. Yep, that's a head. Uh, we then have little armor plates going yep. across here. Yeah, they're the decorate, decorative plates. All right, I'm going to guess legs. Yeah, more these. legs, more legs. The other side of it. It's yep. mirrored, so. Mm -hmm. And then. This is his torso here. Yeah, we've got torso, uh, if I can find it here. And then this is feet. Yep. Okay, so. And that's it, because you've already shown everything. everything. Yeah, so that's sure, everything. I think that's everything across it. So that's a very cool, very easy sprue. So if it's, if it's yep. someone that's not really used to miniatures gaming, I can yep. see what you've done here. With converting role players to miniatures games, yep. you've kept the kits light and easy, but chock full of details, so that when they eventually do get across to painting, they're yeah. going to sit down and go, "Right, I've got tons of detail to work with here. Let's, yeah. let's rock I and roll." I can't, I can't really see very well anymore. Um, I turned forty, and my eyes decided it was time to die. Uh, um, so uh, for me, they're great because I can just spray prime them, mm. and I can put a bunch of washes on them, mm -hmm. and they look like they're camoed, and I'm yeah. done. <laughs> yeah. So for me, they're great, um, mm -hmm. and it works really well. Yeah. Well, I mean, like it, it all seems like light, easy miniatures is the way to go yeah. in this game. They they seem to be designed. It's an easy step into yeah. the game, and when you're in, when you're expanding, it's still easy. You're not getting overloaded or overcomplicated with stuff, yeah. which is absolutely perfect. And the, with these ones here, mm -hmm. um, and the the two uh, destroids in the basic box. Yeah. You basically can field all the destroids for the U UEDF mm -hmm. except for the big monster. That's the only one still waiting yeah, to I, be done. I, I assume it's, it's its own kit? Yeah, it's going to be its own kit. It's not out yet, mm -hmm. but uh, it'll be coming out. But once you get that one, then you're going to have all the, the standard de destroids. Yeah. Also, although I didn't bring the rest of them just because I didn't have uh, room on the plane. Yeah, well, you, you came all the way yeah. from Canada to, to visit. There's, there's expansion boxes like this mm -hmm. for... Um, you know the uh, tomahawk and for the defender. Yeah. You know they come in a in a two yeah. part box like that one. Yeah. So and we're there's, suddenly seeing all the and there's one for the up. yeah and there's yeah. one for the Valkyries where you can get an expansion box for the yeah, Valkyries. Yeah. Cool. So yeah. Well, I mean, like we've we've got the uh, stat cards here as well. So this is the artillery guys. Who, yep. Artillery squad. I, I think squad. they just look cool with those big massive missile drums on the side. They just really call out to me. Uh, these are the. The sort of punchy Spart guys. Yep, Spartan uh, close, qu close quarters mm -hmm. Destroid Squad. Yep, we've then got these guys with uh, Fire Support Squad. Uh, now you're gonna. What are these? Those are the des those are the defenders from the uh, main box. Ah, I see. So they, you're. I like the fact that you're able to mix your units up in this. It's not just I am all of one unit. I am all of one unit. You know, it yeah. actually feels like everything has its purpose. Now, see what these. The hell? These are from these are from the um, hmm. these cards here are the UEDF cards. Yeah. These, these are the uh, malcontent cards, and the malcontents are that <sighs> they're they're during that post-war period mm. where the Zentradi have more or less been defeated, but they're trying to rebel, right. and they're joining with human rebels, and so it's mixed mixed units. So, hang on. Even though you, I've got two factions in that base box, I can you, mash those all you, together. Into yeah, you one actually you actually have three army. you actually have three factions. Oh, so, you, so you have like the, you have the Zentradi Armada, yeah. the UEDF, and uh, the malcontents. Yeah, it's okay. That I just I really like the idea that it. You're not locked off on any of your options for this game. I want to play with the big, heavy, stompy robots, but I like some of those battle droids. Yeah. I'm going to have it all, and I'm going to play everything. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's absolutely great. Then we also have uh, 
the actual stat cards for these yep, as well. Again, the art for these is fantastic. I love it, and then your special rules on the the back as well. Yeah, again, and it's absolutely fantastic. Just like the yes. other ones, you know, it, it's um, yep. your speed, um, your pilot skill, pilot skill, gunnery, skill and, and defense. Yep, four stats. You're up and running in no time with this game. Well, yep. there, there's a question for you. If I was to pick this up, how long would it take between getting stuck into the rules and getting playing? Um, most people that I've, sh you know, one, once you've got the models together, obviously, mm. but um, most people that I've shown the game pick it up in the first 10 minutes. Right, so yeah. it's, it's a really light, fast pickup game then. Um, I run it at Gen Con, um, like the last couple Gen Cons I've been running it, mm -hmm. and uh, people stop, see me at the table, mm. sit down, I explain the rules, I explain about five or 10 minutes worth of rules, mm -hmm. and they start playing. And 50-50, they beat me, so. Mm. So you know, it's not a game where the, the old master will always crush you from cheesy ancient tactics? No, I mean, there's, if I want to be an ass, <laughs> I can, I, you know, there are things you can do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, there's that tactical depth to, to be the beardy guy. Yeah, but, but I mean, but if you're just playing a straight friendly game and mm. you're not doing everything you know that that unit can do, mm. then uh, yeah, they got about a 50 50 chance of winning without like just like sitting down and playing. Mm. But then again, once you know what the units can do, there's a lot of things. There's one, there's one um, uh, tactic mm. that I call the Zentradi Stomp, where um, you take a, bun you, a unit of uh, battle pods mm. and the other guy has his Destroids and you run up and surround the Destroids with a ring of battle pods mm -hmm. and you just kick it to death. <laughs> <laughs> because he can't shoot at you because you're surrounding him and he can't get out because you're surrounding him and you just stand there kicking him to death and of course battle pots have no arms or anything so you just stand there doing this doing this shit stomp you know well, uh, you're in ireland so i think you can just call that one the river dance uh, yeah <laughs> <there you go. laughs> dead um it's sort of a silly tactic but it works really good that, that, that just sounds hilarious and fun if you i mean like I play against John a lot, and me and John are best mates, so sometimes we do stuff deliberately to try and piss the other off. Yeah. If we start playing this, I'm going to do that just for badness, because oh, I, I know hilarious. John, will, John, the face will start to go red, and the dice will fly across the room, and it's, then we'll sit down later and have a laugh about it. It's hilarious, especially when you have tomahawks, because tomahawks are basically uh, the armored tank of this game. Yeah. And uh, they represent firepower that's pretty extreme. Mm. And battle pods in, rep in, in relation to that are pretty wussy. Mm. But if you do that, that tactic, mm. they suddenly neutralize that guy. <laughs> and they neutralize him for several turns. Because, I mean, it, yeah, the Tomahawk well. can get out of there. Yeah. He can get, because he's got a lot of armor. So yeah. he, can, he can slowly soak it up and eventually fight his way out of it. Yeah. But it takes a long time. Yeah, so it's just a massive pub brawl. Yeah, it's, it's really, that, really that fun. sounds absolutely amazing. Thank yeah. you. Carmen, yeah. it's been a pleasure having yeah. you on for these unboxings. Guys, yeah. we're going to move on here. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll get to do any more videos, but if we do, stay tuned. Uh, it's been a pleasure, man. Right. See you. Progress comes to a world of magic as science and the arcane combine to make marvels. Meet steampunk inventors and orc mystics at the Volsung Hub on beastsofwar.com. Become a general of mighty armies at the Kings of War Hub. Take command of elves, dwarves and orcs in this game of masked fantasy combat on beastsofwar.com.